I shore fishing for Fluke. My cousin Mark, Fluke season just opened. Uh, we're not sure if they're here yet and the water temperature is pretty cold. The main challenge today is I'm using Kitek um, and he's using Gulp. We're both using single jigs. I'm using a 3 8 ounce. I think he's using a half ounce. But no teaser. Uh, both of us have found that, at least in this area, in our experience, if you work a single jig properly, it far outfishes in terms of quantity and quality than the high low teaser bucktail setup. But we both have new surf rods that we're testing out. I have the Dialuna and he has the Labra and I'll link everything down below. And he just hooked up to a big robin. Wanna keep going? Yeah, we're gonna keep moving down this beach. I think that's a robin. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Kite Tech One. Nice job, man. Man, I wish oh, I had my lip gripper. It's good to see you again. Alright, so that's the first fluke for 2018. It's a short, but it's a start. That was on the 5 inch Kitek Easy Shiner in a gold flash color. Kind of like that uh, sun bomb. Damn, son. Lee over here. That's a fluke. I see a lot of slack. Keep going. Wash it a little. Let's see that fish. Nice. That's nice and thick. Alright, it's 1-1. One, one. I guess keepers will have to count differently. <laughs> Alright, just a quick note on how my cousin jigs for fluke. It's a little bit different from how I do it, at least our default jigging methods. If you watch my videos, I always let my jig fall freely on slack line. He pops it two, three, four times and then holds his rod tip up and lets the jig kind of pendulum towards him. And he's had a lot of success doing it that way. Um, my only qualm with that is your rod is not quite in the hook setting position, but you could reel down and hold your line tight. But it's very effective. He's caught a lot of limits last year from shore. And that rod he's using, the Daiwa Labra, it's a 9 foot rod rated to ounce and a half and it weighs 4.4 ounces. So it's pretty nice. There's Sean. That's a fluke. Keep it tight. Keep the momentum. You swallow that thing. Oh, fuck yeah. That's a keeper. That's not as big as I thought. It's a keeper. It's a keeper, alright. Look at that. Three to one. I might have to switch up. Here, let me get the rod holder. It's not the one we want, but it's good for the, it's good for the cooking. Oh, yeah. 
All right, so the action kind of slowed down over there. We worked our way down to this jetty. Some kind of school field trip going on. But neither of us were really feeling it. The water's a little off color here, so we walked back. Feeling about this yeah, area, right? I think we need to go back. Is it like the water or like the depth? It's just not a. Concept. I don't know. They're maybe not the time of year. They're not swimming in. Yeah. They're, they're sticking close to that channel. Those channels over there, yeah. yeah. I don't think this is a fish. Okay, it is a fish. I think it's a sea robin. That's a big f***ing robin. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be a nice catch and cook. You didn't catch that flu. <laughs> Alright, so that brief experiment with gulp just caught a big sea robin. So I put the Kitec back on. One thing about this bait, the 5 inch Easy Shiner, if you work it too fast, the tail fouls on the hook point. So, in my opinion, not quite a great triggering bait, but it has such incredible action and it's definitely working out later on in the day. A semi reel down to that one. All right, so the jig head I'm using is made by a company called Aero Jigs. Um, they have a really thick gauge custom gammy hook. I think they're meant for salmon and steelhead fishing. It does not have a bait keeper barb, but I'm using the bait hitch. I made a video on this, and this system is working out great. Uh, oh. oh, very bad. Yeah, I ran into my friends Kevin and Vinny on the kayaks. Uh, Kevin is of Ta Candy Jigs fame, and you should check his jigs out. They're really nice. This one might be, right? Take a look. It's 20. Is it 20? 20, yeah. Really? Yeah. All right, so that was my first keeper of the season, and I'm trying to bleed it out on the beach. It's I need a new system for this if I'm going to do a lot of shore fishing. 
here my cousin hooks into something nice. Tight, tight, so slack. Is that a bluefish? You got your drag set, man? Drag, drag. That's a wow, look at that. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, cool, thanks man. No problem. Just wait till it kicks. Just hold it there. Let it kick. You don't have to move it, just hold it. Yeah. You can wiggle it back and yep, just wiggle it a little bit. Nice. Oh. Beautiful. Nice. That fish is gonna live. Yeah, I do have one weak fish catch and cook from last year. It was, it was okay. It wasn't great. They're much prettier than they taste. Oh. Man, he inhaled it. Hello. Is bunker? What? No, bunker. We haven't seen any bunker today. So, what, if there's no bunker, what are you going to do? You should at least bring like a spoon or something, you know, if there's no bunker, you can still fish. That's a nice size. Yeah, we're not keeping no more. Oh, I got his eyeball. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, your eyeball's coming out. Oh, Jesus. Oh, all right, good luck, man. All right, sexy shad. Now I got confidence in this color. How's that system, man? It's just locking at him. Yeah, maybe it's bunker. That guy's completely distraught and there's no, but how can you count on that? Yeah. How can you count on Bunker? Yeah, he's like, yeah. Alright, so the day's winding down. We're down to our last cast. Oh, are you making your last one over here? Yeah. Because I think that's where the fish is. There you go. So maybe the fish swam over here. Maybe I'll make my last cast over here. I don't know, are they fishing or hunting? What the f I think this is a bunker. This is not a, this is middle of the water column. Is that a bunker? Is it? <laughs> small one. Yeah, baby. Mm, looks nice, but very small. Yeah, they're nice looking fish. Even if they're big, I don't keep them. They're too pretty. Oh my god, what did you do? Yo, he's bleeding. Alright, so there's my 2018 striper. I think it was just a flesh wound. Hopefully, he's alright. One lesson I learned today is definitely bring my lip grippers. Uh, next trip, I don't want to touch sand at all. And then transfer it to your rod or your reel. It's no good. The last cast chat. Oh, that's oh, a. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. this is out of. This is not. This oh, is no, no, no. This is bullshit. This is over. Bullshit. I All can't right. how many species of fish will pop today. Seriously. I think we'll end it. At least I will end it on that note. No, I'm, a, I'm a man of my word. Yeah. Alright, so first fluke trip 2018 is in the books. 
Um, I'll leave a link to all the gear and tackle that we're using down below. As usual, questions, comments are welcome. And stay tuned for our first flute catch and cook, probably end of this week or next. All right, thanks for watching, guys.